여러분 안녕하세요 자 토크TV입니다 많이 내보냈는데요 그 안에 보면 공간은 절차 여섯 번을 반복해서 해야 된다 이렇게 얘기를 했습니다 쉐도잉을 해야 된다 자 어떻게 하는 건지 오늘 한번 제가 보여드리겠습니다 먼저 보시다시피 속에 문이 나오죠 이 속에 글이 끝난 다음에 다섯 번을 하고 마지막에 한 번을 풀로 해주는 거예요 한 장을 그러면 이제 여섯 번이 되는 건데요 다섯 번을 듣고 있습니다 반복을 하면 여러분 영어 공부 엄청 가 있습니다. 자그 다음 단계로 그 단계에 보면 은 영어 공부 절차 했죠. 방법은 똑같아요. 그러나 이거를 이미 마쳤기 때문에 그 다음부터는 쉐도잉 1년을 합니다. 자 쉐도잉 절차도 똑같아요. 단 다른 부분이 뭐냐 이걸 따라서 하는 거죠. 자, 또 Power of Post Christ Jesus and the Faithful in the Christ Jesus Power of Post Christ Jesus by the will of God the saint who are the apostles and are faithful in Christ Jesus 두 번째죠. Power of Post of Christ Jesus by the will of God to the saint who are in Ephesus and are faithful in Christ Jesus. 세 번째 있죠. How long a p o s t l of Christ Jesus by the will of God to the saint who are in Ephesus and the faithful in Christ Jesus. 네 번째 있나요? 자, 네 번째 있죠. How long a p o s t l of Christ Jesus by the will of God to the saint who are in Ephesus and are faithful in Christ Jesus. 다섯 번 했어요. 이렇게 이 절이 22절까지 돼 있다면 22절을 마치고 마지막 한 번을 풀로 해줍니다. 1년 가를 6개 를 반복 듣기를 마친 이후에 1년을 쉐도잉을 하면 번호를 들음과 동시에 까불까불까불까불 하면서 동시에 해주는 거예요. 그러니까 통역 방식이죠. 1년을 하면 여러분 영어로 걱정 안 하셔도 됩니다. 여러분 영어 완성이 그렇게 쉬운 일은 아닙니다만 이런 방법으로 하면 영어는 완성됩니다. Deuteronomy 3 Then we turned and went up the way to Bashan and Og the king of Bashan came out against us he and all his people to battle at Adre Deuteronomy 3 Then we turned and went up the way to Bashan and Og the king of Bashan came out against us he and all his people to battle at Adre Deuteronomy 3 Then we turned and went up the way to Bashan and Og the king of Bashan came out against us he and all his people to battle at Adre Deuteronomy 3 Then we turned and went up the way to Bashan and Og the king of Bashan came out against us he and all his people to battle at Adre Deuteronomy 3 then we turned and went up the way to Bashan and Og the king of Bashan came out against us he and all his people to battle at Adre but the Lord said to me do not fear him for I have given him and all his people and his land into your hand and you shall do to him as you did to Sion the king of the Amorites who lived at Heshbon. But the Lord said to me, Do not fear him, for I have given him and all his people and his land into your hand, and you shall do to him as you did to Sion the king of the Amorites who lived at Heshbon. But the Lord said to me, Do not fear him, for I have given him and all his people and his land into your hand, and you shall do to him as you did to Sion the king of the Amorites who lived at Heshbon. But the Lord said to me, Do not fear him, for I have given him and all his people and his land into your hand, and you shall do to him as you did to Sion the king of the Amorites who lived at Heshbon. But the Lord said to me, Do not fear him, for I have given him and all his people and his land into your hand, and you shall do to him as you did to Sion the king of the Amorites who lived at Heshbon. So the Lord our God gave into our hand Og also the king of Bashan and all his people, and we struck him down until he had no survivor left. So the Lord our God gave into our hand Og also the king of Bashan and all his people, and we struck him down until he had no survivor left. So the Lord our God gave into our hand Og also the king of Bashan and all his people, and we struck him down until he had no survivor left. So the Lord our God gave into our hand Og also the king of Bashan and all his people, and we struck him down until he had no survivor left. So the Lord our God gave into our hand Og also the king of Bashan and all his people, and we struck him down until he had no survivor left. And we took all his cities at that time, 
There was not a city that we did not take from them, sixty cities, the whole region of Argob, the kingdom of Og and Bashan. And we took all his cities at that time. There was not a city that we did not take from them, sixty cities, the whole region of Argob, the kingdom of Og and Bashan. And we took all his cities at that time. There was not a city that we did not take from them, sixty cities, the whole region of Argob, the kingdom of Og and Bashan. And we took all his cities at that time. There was not a city that we did not take from them, sixty cities, the whole region of Argob, the kingdom of Og and Bashan. And we took all his cities at that time. There was not a city that we did not take from them, sixty cities, the whole region of Argob, the kingdom of Og and Bashan. All these were cities fortified with high walls, gates and bars, besides very many unwalled villages. All these were cities fortified with high walls, gates and bars, besides very many unwalled villages. All these were cities fortified with high walls, gates and bars, besides very many unwalled villages. All these were cities fortified with high walls, gates and bars, besides very many unwalled villages. All these were cities fortified with high walls, gates and bars, besides very many unwalled villages. And we devoted them to destruction, as we did to Sion, the king of Heshbon, devoting to destruction every city, men, women, and children. And we devoted them to destruction, as we did to Sion, the king of Heshbon, devoting to destruction every city, men, women, and children. And we devoted them to destruction, as we did to Sion, the king of Heshbon, devoting to destruction every city, men, women, and children. And we devoted them to destruction, as we did to Sion, the king of Heshbon, devoting to destruction every city, men, women, and children. And we devoted them to destruction, as we did to Sion, the king of Heshbon, devoting to destruction every city, men, women, and children. But all the livestock and the spoil of the cities we took as our plunder. But all the livestock and the spoil of the cities we took as our plunder. But all the livestock and the spoil of the cities we took as our plunder. But all the livestock and the spoil of the cities we took as our plunder. But all the livestock and the spoil of the cities we took as our plunder. So we took the land at that time out of the hand of the two kings of the Amorites who were beyond the Jordan from the valley of the Arnon to Mount Hermon. So we took the land at that time out of the hand of the two kings of the Amorites who were beyond the Jordan from the valley of the Arnon to Mount Hermon. So we took the land at that time out of the hand of the two kings of the Amorites who were beyond the Jordan from the valley of the Arnon to Mount Hermon. So we took the land at that time out of the hand of the two kings of the Amorites who were beyond the Jordan from the valley of the Arnon to Mount Hermon. So we took the land at that time out of the hand of the two kings of the Amorites who were beyond the Jordan from the valley of the Arnon to Mount Hermon. The Sidonians call Hermon Sarayan while the Amorites call it Sinir. The Sidonians call Hermon Sarayan while the Amorites call it Sinir. The Sidonians call Hermon Sarayan while the Amorites call it Sinir. The Sidonians call Hermon Sarayan while the Amorites call it Sinir. The Sidonians call Hermon Sarayan while the Amorites call it Sinir. All the cities of the Tableland, and all Gilead, and all Bashan, as far as Salaka and Adre, cities of the kingdom of Og and Bashan. All the cities of the Tableland, and all Gilead, and all Bashan, as far as Salaka and Adre, cities of the kingdom of Og and Bashan. All the cities of the Tableland, and all Gilead, and all Bashan, as far as Salaka and Adre, cities of the kingdom of Og and Bashan. All the cities of the Tableland, 
and all Gilead, and all Bashan, as far as Salaka and Adre, cities of the kingdom of Og and Bashan, all the cities of the Tableland, and all Gilead, and all Bashan, as far as Salaka and Adre, cities of the kingdom of Og and Bashan. For only Og, the king of Bashan, was left of the remnant of the Rephaim. Behold, his bed was a bed of iron. Is it not in Rabbah of the Ammonites? Nine cubits was its length, and four cubits its breadth, according to the common cubit. For only Og, the king of Bashan, was left of the remnant of the Rephaim. Behold, his bed was a bed of iron. Is it not in Rabbah of the Ammonites? Nine cubits was its length, and four cubits its breadth, according to the common cubit. For only Og, the king of Bashan, was left of the remnant of the Rephaim. Behold, his bed was a bed of iron. Is it not in Rabbah of the Ammonites? Nine cubits was its length, and four cubits its breadth, according to the common cubit. For only Og, the king of Bashan, was left of the remnant of the Rephaim. Behold, his bed was a bed of iron. Is it not in Rabbah of the Ammonites? Nine cubits was its length, and four cubits its breadth, according to the common cubit. For only Og, the king of Bashan, was left of the remnant of the Rephaim. Behold, his bed was a bed of iron. Is it not in Rabbah of the Ammonites? Nine cubits was its length, and four cubits its breadth, according to the common cubit. When we took possession of this land at that time, I gave to the Reubenites and the Gadites the territory beginning at Eroer, which is on the edge of the valley of the Arnon, and half the hill country of Gilead with its cities. When we took possession of this land at that time, I gave to the Reubenites and the Gadites the territory beginning at Eroer, which is on the edge of the valley of the Arnon, and half the hill country of Gilead with its cities. When we took possession of this land at that time, I gave to the Reubenites and the Gadites the territory beginning at Eroer, which is on the edge of the valley of the Arnon, and half the hill country of Gilead with its cities. When we took possession of this land at that time, I gave to the Reubenites and the Gadites the territory beginning at Eroer, which is on the edge of the valley of the Arnon, and half the hill country of Gilead with its cities. When we took possession of this land at that time, I gave to the Reubenites and the Gadites the territory beginning at Eroer, which is on the edge of the valley of the Arnon, and half the hill country of Gilead with its cities. The rest of Gilead and all Bashan, the kingdom of Og, that is, all the region of Argob, I gave to the half-tribe of Manasseh. All that portion of Bashan is called the land of Rephaim. The rest of Gilead and all Bashan, the kingdom of Og, that is, all the region of Argob, I gave to the half-tribe of Manasseh. All that portion of Bashan is called the land of Rephaim. The rest of Gilead and all Bashan, the kingdom of Og, that is, all the region of Argob, I gave to the half-tribe of Manasseh. All that portion of Bashan is called the land of Rephaim. The rest of Gilead and all Bashan, the kingdom of Og, that is, all the region of Argob, I gave to the half-tribe of Manasseh. All that portion of Bashan is called the land of Rephaim. The rest of Gilead and all Bashan, the kingdom of Og, that is, all the region of Argob, I gave to the half-tribe of Manasseh. All that portion of Bashan is called the land of Rephaim. Jair the Manassite took all the region of Argob, that is, Bashan, as far as the border of the Gesherites and the Makathites, and called the villages after his own name, Havath Jair, as it is to this day. Jair the Manassite took all the region of Argob, that is, Bashan, as far as the border of the Gesherites and the Makathites, and called the villages after his own name, Havath Jair, as it is to this day. Jair the Manassite took all the region of Argob, that is, Bashan, as far as the border of the Gesherites and the Makathites, and called the villages after his own name, Havath Jair, as it is to this day. Jair the Manassite took all the region of Argob, that is, Bashan, as far as the border of the Gesherites and the Makathites, and called the villages after his own name, Havath Jair, as it is to this day. Jair the Manassite 
took all the region of Agad, that is Bashan, as far as the border of the Gesherites and the Makathites, and called the villages after his own name, Havath Jair, as it is to this day. To Makir I gave Gilead, and to the Reubenites and the Gadites I gave the territory from Gilead as far as the valley of the Arnon, with the middle of the valley as a border, as far over as the river Jabbok, the border of the Ammonites. To Makir I gave Gilead, and to the Reubenites and the Gadites I gave the territory from Gilead as far as the valley of the Arnon, with the middle of the valley as a border, as far over as the river Jabbok, the border of the Ammonites. To Makir I gave Gilead, and to the Reubenites and the Gadites I gave the territory from Gilead as far as the valley of the Arnon, with the middle of the valley as a border, as far over as the river Jabbok, the border of the Ammonites. To Makir I gave Gilead, and to the Reubenites and the Gadites I gave the territory from Gilead as far as the valley of the Arnon, with the middle of the valley as a border, as far over as the river Jabbok, the border of the Ammonites. To Makir I gave Gilead, and to the Reubenites and the Gadites I gave the territory from Gilead as far as the valley of the Arnon, with the middle of the valley as a border, as far over as the river Jabbok, the border of the Ammonites. The Arabah also, with the Jordan as the border, from Chinnereth as far as the Sea of the Arabah, the Salt Sea, under the slopes of Pisgah, on the east. The Arabah also, with the Jordan as the border, from Chinnereth as far as the Sea of the Arabah, the Salt Sea, under the slopes of Pisgah, on the east. The Arabah also, with the Jordan as the border, from Chinnereth as far as the Sea of the Arabah, the Salt Sea, under the slopes of Pisgah, on the east. The Arabah also, with the Jordan as the border, from Chinnereth as far as the Sea of the Arabah, the Salt Sea, under the slopes of Pisgah, on the east. The Arabah also, with the Jordan as the border, from Chinnereth as far as the Sea of the Arabah, the Salt Sea, under the slopes of Pisgah, on the east. And I commanded you at that time, saying, The Lord your God has given you this land to possess. All your men of valor shall cross over armed before your brothers, the people of Israel. And I commanded you at that time, saying, The Lord your God has given you this land to possess. All your men of valor shall cross over armed before your brothers, the people of Israel. And I commanded you at that time, saying, The Lord your God has given you this land to possess. All your men of valor shall cross over armed before your brothers, the people of Israel. And I commanded you at that time, saying, the Lord your God has given you this land to possess. All your men of valor shall cross over armed before your brothers, the people of Israel. And I commanded you at that time, saying, The Lord your God has given you this land to possess. All your men of valor shall cross over armed before your brothers, the people of Israel. Only your wives, your little ones, and your livestock, I know that you have much livestock, shall remain in the cities that I have given you until the Lord. Only your wives, your little ones, and your livestock, I know that you have much livestock, shall remain in the cities that I have given you until the Lord. Only your wives, your little ones, and your livestock, I know that you have much livestock, shall remain in the cities that I have given you until the Lord. Only your wives, your little ones, and your livestock, I know that you have much livestock shall remain in the cities that I have given you until the Lord. Only your wives, your little ones, and your livestock, I know that you have much livestock, shall remain in the cities that I have given you until the Lord. Your brothers, as to you, and they also occupy the land that the Lord your God gives them beyond the Jordan, then each of you may return to his possession which I have given you. Your brothers, as to you, and they also occupy the land that the Lord your God gives them beyond the Jordan. Then each of you may return to his possession, which I have given you. Your brothers, as to you, and they also occupy the land that the Lord your God gives them beyond the Jordan. Then each of you may return to his possession, which I have given you. Your brothers, as to you, and they also occupy the land that the Lord your God gives them beyond the Jordan. 
then each of you may return to his possession, which I have given you. For brothers, as to you, and they also occupy the land that the Lord your God gives them beyond the Jordan, then each of you may return to his possession, which I have given you. And I commanded Joshua at that time, Your eyes have seen all that the Lord your God has done to these two kings. So will the Lord do to all the kingdoms into which you are crossing. And I commanded Joshua at that time, Your eyes have seen all that the Lord your God has done to these two kings. So will the Lord do to all the kingdoms into which you are crossing. And I commanded Joshua at that time, your eyes have seen all that the Lord your God has done to these two kings. So will the Lord do to all the kingdoms into which you are crossing. And I commanded Joshua at that time, Your eyes have seen all that the Lord your God has done to these two kings. So will the Lord do to all the kingdoms into which you are crossing. And I commanded Joshua at that time, Your eyes have seen all that the Lord your God has done to these two kings. So will the Lord do to all the kingdoms into which you are crossing. You shall not fear them, for it is the Lord your God who fights for you. You shall not fear them, for it is the Lord your God who fights for you. You shall not fear them, for it is the Lord your God who fights for you. You shall not fear them, for it is the Lord your God who fights for you. You shall not fear them. For it is the Lord your God who fights for you. And I pleaded with the Lord at that time, saying, O Lord God, you have only begun to show your servant your greatness and your mighty hand. For what God is there in heaven or on earth who can do such works and mighty acts as yours? And I pleaded with the Lord at that time, saying, O Lord God, you have only begun to show your servant your greatness and your mighty hand. For what God is there in heaven or on earth who can do such works and mighty acts as yours? And I pleaded with the Lord at that time, saying, O Lord God, you have only begun to show your servant your greatness and your mighty hand. For what God is there in heaven or on earth who can do such works and mighty acts as yours? And I pleaded with the Lord at that time, saying, O Lord God, you have only begun to show your servant your greatness and your mighty hand. For what God is there in heaven or on earth who can do such works and mighty acts as yours? And I pleaded with the Lord at that time, saying, O Lord God, you have only begun to show your servant your greatness and your mighty hand. For what God is there in heaven or on earth who can do such works and mighty acts as yours? Please, let me go over and see the good land beyond the Jordan, that good hill country, and Lebanon. Please, let me go over and see the good land beyond the Jordan, that good hill country, and Lebanon. Please, let me go over and see the good land beyond the Jordan, that good hill country, and Lebanon. Please, let me go over and see the good land beyond the Jordan, that good hill country, and Lebanon. Please, let me go over and see the good land beyond the Jordan, that good hill country, and Lebanon. But the Lord was angry with me because of you, and would not listen to me. And the Lord said to me, Enough from you, do not speak to me of this matter again. But the Lord was angry with me because of you, and would not listen to me. And the Lord said to me, Enough from you, do not speak to me of this matter again. But the Lord was angry with me because of you, and would not listen to me. And the Lord said to me, Enough from you, do not speak to me of this matter again. But the Lord was angry with me because of you, and would not listen to me. And the Lord said to me, Enough from you, do not speak to me of this matter again. But the Lord was angry with me because of you, and would not listen to me. And the Lord said to me, Enough from you, do not speak to me of this matter again. Go up to the top of Pisgah, and lift up your eyes westward, and northward, and southward, and eastward, and look at it with your eyes, for you shall not go over this Jordan. Go up to the top of Pisgah, 
and lift up your eyes westward and northward and southward and eastward, and look at it with your eyes, for you shall not go over this Jordan. Go up to the top of Pisgah, and lift up your eyes westward and northward and southward and eastward, and look at it with your eyes, for you shall not go over this Jordan. Go up to the top of Pisgah, and lift up your eyes westward and northward and southward and eastward, and look at it with your eyes, for you shall not go over this Jordan. Go up to the top of Pisgah, and lift up your eyes westward and northward and southward and eastward, and look at it with your eyes, for you shall not go over this Jordan. But charge Joshua, and encourage and strengthen him, for he shall go over at the head of this people, and he shall put them in possession of the land that you shall see. But charge Joshua, and encourage and strengthen him, for he shall go over at the head of this people, and he shall put them in possession of the land that you shall see. But charge Joshua, and encourage and strengthen him, for he shall go over at the head of this people, and he shall put them in possession of the land that you shall see. But charge Joshua, and encourage and strengthen him, for he shall go over at the head of this people, and he shall put them in possession of the land that you shall see. But charge Joshua, and encourage and strengthen him, for he shall go over at the head of this people, and he shall put them in possession of the land that you shall see. So we remained in the valley opposite Beth Peor. So we remained in the valley opposite Beth Peor. So we remained in the valley opposite Beth Peor. So we remained in the valley opposite Beth Peor. So we remained in the valley opposite Beth Peor. Deuteronomy 3. Then we turned, and went up the way to Bashan. And Og the king of Bashan came out against us, he and all his people, to battle at Adre. But the Lord said to me, Do not fear him, for I have given him and all his people and his land into your hand. And you shall do to him as you did to Sion the king of the Amorites who lived at Heshbon. So the Lord our God gave into our hand Og also the king of Bashan, and all his people, and we struck him down until he had no survivor left. And we took all his cities at that time. There was not a city that we did not take from them, sixty cities, the whole region of Argob, the kingdom of Og and Bashan. All these were cities fortified with high walls, gates and bars, besides very many unwalled villages. And we devoted them to destruction, as we did to Sion, the king of Heshbon, devoting to destruction every city, men, women, and children. But all the livestock and the spoil of the cities we took as our plunder. So we took the land at that time out of the hand of the two kings of the Amorites, who were beyond the Jordan, from the valley of the Arnon to Mount Hermon. The Sidonians call Hermon Sarion, while the Amorites call it Sinir. All the cities of the Tableland, and all Gilead, and all Bashan, as far as Salaka, and Adre, cities of the kingdom of Og and Bashan, for only Og the king of Bashan was left of the remnant of the Rephaim. Behold, his bed was a bed of iron. Is it not in Rabbah of the Ammonites? Nine cubits was its length, and four cubits its breadth, according to the common cubit. When we took possession of this land at that time, I gave to the Reubenites and the Gadites the territory beginning at Eroer, which is on the edge of the valley of the Arnon and half the hill country of Gilead with its cities, the rest of Gilead and all Bashan, the kingdom of Og, that is, all the region of Argob, I gave to the half-tribe of Manasseh. All that portion of Bashan is called the land of Rephaim. Jair the Manassite took all the region of Argob, that is, Bashan, as far as the border of the Geshurites and the Makathites, and called the villages after his own name, Havath Jair, as it is to this day. To Makir I gave Gilead, and to the Reubenites and the Gadites I gave the territory from Gilead as far as the valley of the Arnon, with the middle of the valley as a border, as far over as the river Jabbok, the border of the Ammonites. The Arabah also, with the Jordan as the border, from Chinnereth as far as the Sea of the Arabah, the Salt Sea, 
under the slopes of Pisgah on the east. And I commanded you at that time, saying, The Lord your God has given you this land to possess. All your men of valor shall cross over armed before your brothers, the people of Israel. Only your wives, your little ones, and your livestock, I know that you have much livestock, shall remain in the cities that I have given you until the Lord gives rest to your brothers. As to you, and they also occupy the land that the Lord your God gives them beyond the Jordan. Then each of you may return to his possession, which I have given you. And I commanded Joshua at that time, Your eyes have seen all that the Lord your God has done to these two kings. So will the Lord do to all the kingdoms into which you are crossing. You shall not fear them, for it is the Lord your God who fights for you. And I pleaded with the Lord at that time, saying, O Lord God, you have only begun to show your servant your greatness and your mighty hand. For what God is there in heaven or on earth who can do such works and mighty acts as yours? Please, let me go over and see the good land beyond the Jordan, that good hill country, and Lebanon. But the Lord was angry with me because of you, and would not listen to me. And the Lord said to me, Enough from you, do not speak to me of this matter again. Go up to the top of Pisgah, and lift up your eyes westward, and northward, and southward, and eastward, and look at it with your eyes. For you shall not go over this Jordan, but charge Joshua, and encourage and strengthen him, for he shall go over at the head of this people, and he shall put them in possession of the land that you shall see. So we remained in the valley opposite Beth Peor.